Hello friends, welcome to my channel Agam's Tech Tricks. Today, I will tell you how to add a global menu in GNOME 3 desktop environment. It is only possible on Ubuntu or Debian based distributions. So like, first of all, I will tell you what is a global menu. If like we open any application, for example, Chrome, in Mac OS or in KDE Plasma desktop, we get a global menu here which shows like file, edit, view and many more which is when which is only visible when we press the alt key in an app. Like we press an alt key in an app so it is only visible that time but a global menu shows the menu which we press an alt key at the top only. So that global menu is in default in macOS and we will be able to add that global menu in GNOME 3 also on the system which is based on Ubuntu or Debian. Actually there was already an extension but uh, that extension only worked in GNOME 2 and not GNOME 3. So today I will be telling you a person just forked that extension and made the new extension called Fildom Global Menu. So today we will, we will I will be showing you how to add that global menu. First of all open your browser. and I will give you the link in the description below so you can just go click that link and go to this github link this is the link of that Fildom global menu to add the global menu in GNOME 3 so this is the description this is the fork of GNOME HDUD and uh, first we have to install GNOME support for GNOME extensions and the GNOME extension for Firefox. If you don't have that, just run this command, go to the terminal and run the command sudo apt install gnome chrome gnome shell. This is actually for like adding extension in gnome for supporting the browsers like we can add to Firefox or Chrome we can add some extensions so and also we have to install gnome tweak tool for managing the extensions so I will also type gnome tweak tool and I will press enter just enter your root password this is already installed on my PC gnome gnome shell and gnome tweak tool so I will be able to add the extensions if you are not seeing it is installed just press y and install it so now open the browser and first go to extensions dot gnome dot org i will give you the link just open it and if you have never installed any gnome extension before you will see this pop up to control GNOME shell extensions using this site, you must install the GNOME shell integration. First, first I made you install that GNOME, GNOME shell for the integration in the OS and now we will install the browser extension. Just click this and here. I am currently on Firefox. If you are go on Google Chrome, you will be able to see a pop-up uh, redirecting to that Chrome. Uh, Chrome extensions page and I will show you. So there in Firefox click continue to installation and add. Now GNOME GNOME shell is added to the Firefox and for Chrome just open Chrome and then go to extensions.gnome.org just go to extensions.gnome And here also I can see click here to install now this will redirect to the web store dome shell integration just click add to chrome and then add extension now you can also like if you use a chrome browser or any chromium based browser you can use the extension in chrome and for firefox they have given their extension so now close because currently I'm using firefox after you have installed the extension, just refresh the page to load it and reload all the cache. Now 
we have to move this time to the left side because sometimes the global menu is very long and sometimes if it does not fit you will not be able to see the menu so i will be typing move clock you can see free move clock we will move it to the left side here like this and just turn it on you will see a pop up install just click install download and install and now the time is moved here time and date so we will be now able to add the extension gnome shell here add the fieldum global menu here just close this and go to the github link now scroll down here it is written the extension in is in gnome extensions website just click the gnome extensions website and here you can see this extension is require installation that i will install after this extension installation just click this to on and then press install and refresh the page now this extension is installed just go to the github page they have filled them github page and go to the releases here from the debian release click on debian release or click on releases and you will be able to see the debian release just download this deb file because we are on ubuntu or debian based distribution click on this deb file and just save file so here it is installed show all downloads open in the folder or open your file explorer anyway now just click the deb file or install through the dpackage command it all depends on you i am just clicking the deb file i have the ide in, installed in my system and then just install like if you are using gnome software you can also install from there i will install here okay so now fieldum global menu is installed and just click here in your browser and here you can see configuration this is for the manual installation only now just close this browser and you have to open terminal and type fieldum there now the global menu is launched and open any app which supports like it does not support firefox because firefox currently does not support global menus it needs a patched version but we cannot have so suppose gnome chrome chrome supports it here you can see file edit view history tools people's help so like we have now installed the global menu and uh, if you want to configure something like uh, the menu is not like it is misconfigured the disconfigured the position is not correct like if you are pressing help it is showing people so i will also give you that fix just open the tweaks app which i told you to install gnome tweak tool just click this go to the extensions and here fieldum global menu just click here settings now if you have this default opened so just like if i turn it on this is the default and uh, the default says that if i only hover on it then only i will be able to see and the name will be hidden but it all depends on you if you want the hover mode or the always here mode so if you want to keep the global menu always visible just turn off the both turn off both the plugs and then here you can see we are able to see the global menu and if the position of the menus is disconfigured disfigured like this desynchronize just increase or decrease the number 
like if I go to 6 here you can see it the size has decreased and but the location is little so this only I was saying that just go to 2 or 1 it depends you can just try here like 1 is suitable for this there are many apps that support is for suppose terminal there are many apps that support it so now this global menu will only run when you type fill dump like currently it only runs when we type fill dump so if you want it on system startup first i will close it here yeah so suppose you want fill dump to launch on system startup i will just go to tweaks that gnome tweaks and go to the startup applications and then click plus just click just type fildom here or if you are not able to see fildom here just go to startup applications and click add and there just type the name fildom and in the command all should be small and no spaces type f i l d e m fildom in the comment you can keep it blank and click add so now whenever you will start up your system you will be able to see this fildom global menu and if you are not able to see this fildom global menu like when you enable the extension and run it on the terminal also just close that uh, terminal and then restart your system all log out and login for gnome shell to refresh and uh, if you are not also able to see the uh, fildom make sure the deb file is installed and the extensions extension is installed so thanks for watching my video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel <laughs>